Hi, Steve here from steveturton.com. Uh, a question I, I see asked a fair bit uh, is to do with direct marketing. And the question is, you know, what is direct marketing? I mean, how do I get involved with it? Well, there might be a surprise or two when you hear the answer, and I'm coming straight back with that answer. Don't go away. Right, so the question is about direct response marketing. What is direct response marketing? Have you become involved with it? Are you involved in it? Well, the answer is yes. But here's my take on direct response marketing. It is designed to evoke an immediate response from your prospect. And an example of that might be that uh, from a direct response advertisement, you want your prospect to take an immediate action like opting into your email list. Maybe picking up the telephone to give you a call for further information or placing an order from your web page or even directing that particular prospect to another web page. So you need them to do something. Then the question becomes, so what exactly makes a direct response ad? Well, there are some characteristics which I can talk to you about. The first one is important and it's trackable. Your direct response ads need to be trackable. Now that's to say that when someone responds to your ad, you know which ad and which media was exactly responsible for generating that particular response. Secondly, it's measurable. These two go hand in hand. So um, since you know which ads are being responded to and how many sales you've received, for example, from each ad, you can measure exactly how effective each ad has been. So the idea of that is, is then you can drop any ads that you're doing which aren't providing a return. There's no point paying good money for an ad that doesn't work. Now, third, it, uh, or a direct response ad, uses very compelling headlines and sales copy. Direct response marketing has a very compelling message of strong interest to your chosen prospects, which means, yes, you need to know your prospect, your avatar. It uses attention-grabbing headlines, and there's very strong sales copy that is very salesmanship-like ads. It's very salesmanship in print. So often the ad looks more like an editorial than an, your average ad and um, statistically making it at least three times more likely to be read, so a very powerful copy. Fourth point is that it then targets a specific ad or niche, coming back to your avatar again. You need to know who you're advertising to. Now, prospects within a specific vertical or geographic zones or niche markets are very targeted. Now, the ad aims to appeal to a narrow target market. You're not casting a huge wide net here. Now, in other words, the advertiser does not only not cast a huge wide net, but there's never any thought of trying to capture the whole market because it won't work. Fifth, it makes a very specific offer, your particular advertisement. So usually the ad makes a specific value-packed offer. Often the aim is not necessarily to sell anything from the ad, but to simply maybe to get the prospect to take the next step, the next action step. For example, uh, requesting a free report, for example. Now the offer focuses on the prospect rather than on the advertiser and talks about the prospect's interest, not the advertiser's interests. Uh, it talks about their prospect's desires, fears, frustrations. I'm sure you've heard this before. The sixth point is it demands a response. Now, direct response advertising has a call to action, a CTA. Um, it's compel it compels the prospect to do something specific. It also includes a means of response and capture of the responses. Now, um, through an autoresponder, for example. So when the, the, the prospect responds, as much of the person's or the prospect's contact information as possible is captured so that they can be contacted beyond that initial ad or initial response at a later time. Now, as an affiliate marketer or an online marketer, the most common form of capture includes the basic information such as name and email address. At the very least, an email address. But go for the name as well. Point number seven, multi-step short-term follow-up. What is that, I hear you say? Well, 
you know, in exchange for capturing the prospect's details, um, valuable education and information on the prospect's problem, because you're appealing to their problem, you're going to provide a solution, um, is then offered. Now, the information should carry with it a second irresistible offer. Okay, this is all part of your sales funnel. And, um, pardon me, and, and it's tied to whatever the next step you want your prospect to take. So it's all integral within the funnel. Now, sometimes it's referred to as an add-on or an upsell. Then a series of follow-up touches or emails if you like, um, usually an email sequence or by phone if you're that way inclined, inclined often, often made. Now also often there's um, some sort of a time or limited offer uh, uh, you're going to present as well. So you've got, you got making these, your prospects think continually. Now people who do not respond within the short term follow up period may have you know, many reasons for not doing so. So the prospect is going to be maturing and maturing into being a buyer. And that's what you would hope for. Now, there is value in this bank of very slow to mature prospects. They should continue hearing from you, so, um, you know, once to several times a month. You just, because you don't get make a sale, doesn't mean to say you drop the prospect. Not at all. Now, as a reminder, don't forget that... Um, at, at some point, the prospect will come to you, eventually, if you keep up the emails. That is what you are hoping to do. Okay, so uh, there you go. I hope that was of some benefit to you. Now, now I'd just like to remind you that I, I have got uh, an awesome, awesome ebook that um, is actually packed full of great information. Now, that ebook has been written by myself, and uh, it's been co authored, if you will, by myself and Matt Lloyd. Um, there's a link at the bottom of the page somewhere for that, and it would be fantastic for you to grab that. So that's it for now. I hope uh, you got value from the video, and I will speak to you very soon. Cheers.